What is happening and welcome to another Four Wheel Drive Talk episode, episode 52. Now friends, overlanding and off-roading just got a little bit more interesting. Now on one hand, Hennessy has a new Ram TRX edition that has a thousand horsepower and a rooftop tent. Yeah, what more could you want? But if you're interested in a new Toyota Land Cruiser for your overlanding adventures, you might be able to get one again in the US in the oncoming years. Now we'll also chat about that here momentarily. Now we'll also take a look at the Lordstown Endurance, which could very well be the future of overlanding and off-roading. So join me here today as we are actually in this episode and learn more about these upcoming stories. But first friends, look, every single week we put these videos together in small little bite-sized little news nuggets to keep you informed as far as what is happening in the industry. Now, of course, you find some value with this video or we're simply entertained. There's that whole YouTube algorithm that really digs it and hell, so do we when you crush that like button down below. That said, friends, uh, let's get on to this week's headlines. Now, normally you associate Hennessy with souped up cars that shred asphalt and kill it, crush it in a quarter mile, but their latest creation is actually no such thing. Now, what they've created here is a modern Ram TRX. Now, Think about this, the TRX is already a monstrous truck, but with the Hennessy Touch, it has a 6.2 liter Hellcat V8 that is tuned to a thousand horsepower of just glorious tire shredding power. You're actually getting 969 pounds of torque with this beast here. Now this Ford Raptor eating truck also is modded for overlanding, so you get a killer power with the comforts of a hard shell tent on the back of this thing, which actually reminds me a little while back, I saw this video online. If I can find it, I will post it on this video, but you can see the, you know, there's a, there's a guy with a, I think a Raptor and he goes down into a mud hole. He has a rooftop tent on the back and the rooftop tent wasn't fastened down and it comes flying forward. Anyways, this thing is really decked out, has a retractable awning. It is, they did a great job with this, but that is not all. Now the base, base package of this thing comes with a light bar, a roof rack, a shovel, axe, and two gaskins. Now for another 18,000, you can add custom bumpers, 20 inch Hennessy wheels with 35 inch tires and a leveling clip. For another $4,000, you get 37 inch meats on that thing and retractable side steps. Now this insane overlanding rig, which is called the Hennessy Mammoth 1000 TRX Overland Edition. That's actually a good name for this thing here. Starts with the $86,000 TRX and adds $36,950 to the price tag. Now the fully loaded version you know, you want to go the full money with this thing is a whopping $164,850. Yeah, that's a that's a grip. But anyways, it looks cool. But hey, if you have the cash and want a truck that will help you go ripping through the uh, earth when the zombies take over, this bad boy is definitely has your name all over it. If you want to learn more about the Mammoth TRX, check out the description below because you know I'm going to put a link down there for you. The Toyota Land Cruiser is one of the most iconic off-road vehicles ever made. And while the newer versions of the classic 4x4 are far more luxurious and actually on that note, expensive than the original, it still has incredible capable four-wheel drive vehicle or is a capable, incredible, four you know where I'm leaning with this. Unfortunately for all of us in the United States, the newer model isn't available here and hasn't been for a little while. However, that might change in the near future. Now the current model, the J300 is available globally, but not stateside, which is kind of strange because when you think about it, the Lexus LX, which is built on the same platform as the J300 is available in the US. At any rate, Toyota uh, executives recently hinted that the J300 could make it over to the shores in the oncoming years, or more likely whatever that replacement is going to be. Now, a US version of the J300 would likely have the same 3.4 liter uh, twin turbo V6 that is in the Lexus LX. Now that engine puts out 409 horsepower and 479 pounds of torque, which put the wheels to through a 10 speed automatic transmission. And while those numbers won't blow you away, it's certainly an improvement over the classic Land Rover models. And while Land Cruisers of the 2000s and 2010s became 
actually quite big. The J300 actually weighs 441 pounds less, giving it an ideal combination of less weight and more power. But Toyota has been careful to say that the next US based Land Cruiser is a ways off. And that likely means that it's not going to be the current J300 model, but whatever comes after that. Now the model after that is likely gonna be a hybrid or a four electric. So. I guess the horsepower numbers that we were talking about a moment ago really doesn't matter at this point. Now, just last week, or actually it was the week before, we talked about the Lordstown Endurance and how it was a finalist in the North American Truck of the Year. Well, this week we have different news. The first truck should be delivered to customers soon. Now, Lordstown recently cleared two final hurdles for delivering their trucks. Now, the first, the truck has to be certified by the EPA. In the second, well, it has to be certified by the California Air Resource Board. With that out of the way, the first endurance trucks recently began leaving Ohio manufacturing plant bound for customers' driveways. Now, production of the plant kicked off in August of this year with the goal of delivering 50 trucks by the end of the year. Now, so far, 12 trucks have been finished, so it looks like Lordstrom might miss their initial target. Now, however, the company says it will pick up the pace in 2023 in hopes to deliver as many as 450 units in the first quarter of 2023 and up to 3,000 units for the year. Now, time will tell if Lordstown can keep up with the pace and if it can compete with Ford, Rivian, and the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. Now, get more details on the Lordstown Endurance by clicking in the link down below. All right, friends, time to shift gears here a little bit and talk about our current giveaway. We have three excellent prizes up for the grab this month. We have the Coleman folding of stove. We have the camping cookware set from Overland. And of course, we have the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, as always, friends, you know, we make it super easy for you to participate in these giveaways. First of all, step one, you need to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Step two, you leave a comment below. Mac, matter of fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So by all means, watch some of our videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on four-wheel drive talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But friend, as I keep saying over and over again, swinging by, say hello, we would love to see it. And that is it. <laughs> for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on four-wheel drive talker, how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. All right, friends, and that is it for the four-wheel drive talk episode this week. As always, I am honored to have you here. I know you have a lot of options of what you could be spending your time watching on YouTube these days, and I'm thrilled that you've chosen to watch this video and support this channel. But it's that time in the video where, friend, I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff, like hitting the like button, the subscribe button. Make sure you hit all the notifications so therefore every single time that we come out with a video just like the one that you just watched there while well, YouTube's gonna give you a heads up that it's out there. But, I don't know why I said but, 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 but. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off the cameras and get out of my studio. Friends, you have a great upcoming weekend and I'll see you next time. So get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.